Lost ship beaches after 90 years. What is found inside horrifies everyone. Amelia, a small town police officer, never expected a routine beach patrol to turn into a chilling mystery as she stood before the ancient ship that had washed ashore after 90 years. Before the video starts, please subscribe to join our community. Your support helps us grow and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. She felt a shiver down her spine. What she discovered inside was so unsettling that she radioed for backup without hesitation. She knew that she had to call for reinforcements. The exterior had been weathered down by the elements. The thing was covered with rust, barnacle seaweed and other things that belonged to the ocean. The hull looked terrible. The faded nameplate only showed a singular word, the others long faded. Neptune was a good name for a ship named after the god of the sea. In less than five minutes, Amelia heard the distant sound of a vehicle grow louder. Marcus Familiar, patrol SUV, pulled up after parking. The door swung open, revealing a concerned-looking Marcus Jane immediately sprung into action. All right, team, let's approach this systemically. The team of four truly had no clue what the ship had in store for them. Louise set up some caution tape around the perimeter. We need to secure the area first. Lewis nodded at Jane's words and immediately got to work, Amelia, any signs of people or activity in or around the ship. She asked none so far, Amelia replied watching. As a small crowd began to gather, Amelia and Marcus ventured to the Neptune. As Amelia took the lead, her boots echoing on the metal gangway, she cautioned Marcus careful as she felt a slight give. Underfoot, they had almost arrived on the deck when Marcus started to talk. My great-grandfather died on a ship that was never found. My grandfather never knew his father because of that. When I see this, I just can't help but wonder. You know Amelia and Marcus at that moment could never have thought what they would eventually find when they hauled themselves onto the ship's deck. It was a testament to long-lost maritime war seers. The deck had poor holes clouded with age, a weathered ship, bell with its rope rotted away, and a rusted railing, or the ship's name and launch date, Neptune's Trident, 1933. He read aloud, she must have seen so much aliaside as she looked around. Ninety years surely have taken their toll on her. Melia holding a flashlight, slight signal to Marcus to follow her. Below the ship's metal staircase, groaned with every step below deck. They found narrow corridors leading to crew cabins. It was clear that this had been long engulfed underneath the waters, as most objects were destroyed by the currents. Then as they walked, they saw something flicker in the corner of their eye. Amelia was the first to spot it inside the cabin, something glinting from the shadows she carefully shone around the cabin. Before entering it in an old rusted locket lay on the ground, and Amelia felt compelled to pick it up. She gently tried to pry it open, careful not to destroy the beautiful piece of jewelry. The locket held a remarkable picture, black and white photograph of a young woman holding a child who could not be older than three years old. Amelia didn't even notice how Marcus still at the revelation. A look of shock crossed his face, and it only confused Amelia. What was the matter with her partner? He was like, he had seen a ghost. That's, that's my great-grandmother, Marcus whispered, finally breaking the silence. Amelia's eyes widened at this, and that is certainly a revelation. Then this must be the ship that left our town's poor towns, port 90 years ago, the one on which your great-grandfather worked. Marcus nodded at this as Amelia gave him the locket. It was only a small find and something the feeling in her underbelly had pushed her toward Camellia. And Marcus shocked by the discovery of Marcus' great-grandmother's locket aboard the Neptune's Trident were left with more questions than answers. How had the ship returned after 90 years? And what happened to its crew as they delved deeper into the vessel? The atmosphere grew more oppressive. The uncovered the ship's log detailing strange occurrences leading up to its disappearance. The final entry hinted at an ominous force pulling the ship into the abyss as they read a cold wind swept through the cabin and they realized they weren't alone. Amelia and Marcus, unsettled by the discovery of Marcus's great-grandmother's locket, continued to explore the ship's eerie interior, but they moved cautiously through the narrow corridors, finding more remnants of the past old photographs, personal belongings, and remnants of the crew's daily life, all idly preserved as they reached the ship's bridge. 
Amelia noticed a log book on the captain's desk, surprisingly intact. Despite the years underwater flipping through its brittle pages, she found the final entry dated just days before the ship disappeared. Piz Captain's handwriting was shaky. The words frantic he wrote about strange occurrences, the crew growing increasingly paranoid, seeing things in the fog. That weren't there, hearing voices at night. The final line read, We are lost. The sea has claimed us, and there is no escape. The realization hit them both. This ship hadn't just disappeared. Something had driven its crew to madness, leaving the ship abandoned until the ocean released it decades later. Marcus and Amelia knew they had uncovered something deeply unsettling, but the full story of what happened on the Neptune's Trident would remain a mystery buried with the ship's lost souls. And as they left the ship, Marcus clutched the locket tightly. It was a connection to his family's past, a piece of history he never expected to find. What but with it came a heavy responsibility. The truth of what happened on that ship could never be fully known, but it would haunt them both for a long time to come. As Amelia and Marcus stood on the shore, they watched as the Neptune's trident, now a crime scene and a relic of their town's history, was carefully secured by the authorities. The mystery of what had happened to the ship and its crew might never be fully uncovered, but the discovery had given Marcus a connection to his past that he never expected holding the locket tightly. He knew that some questions would remain unanswered, but the ghosts of the past had finally surfaced, allowing them a measure of peace.